13th in the championship. The takeover happened, as I said it would. People will be. Oh, when, when have we got leads? Now then, people, welcome back to the Just Joe Football Show. I hope you are all doing well. Merry Christmas. It's getting closer and closer as we go. Still not started my Christmas shopping. Absolutely bricking it, to be honest, because I'm a Christmas Eve shopper. That's me every year. And every year I say it to myself, not next year, but every year it gets to Christmas Eve and I'm running about like a blue ass fly. It is what it is. But I hope you are more organised than me. Please do smash a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, get your comments in, hit the notification bell, check out all these fantastic content creators as well we will be talking about Blackburn we're also going to be looking ahead to Sunderland because it's fast-paced Christmas time I think we've still got like five games left before uh, January the 1st so it's a bit a bit wild Sunderland tomorrow but we will focus on Sunderland but before we do let's find out how everyone is Kate how are you I'll come to you first are you good are you Thank have you. you done your Christmas shopping no, no, oh. not nothing, Joe. Do you know what? I'm an Amazon oh. shopper, so I will be literally really? going on Amazon and I'll be getting it all off there. I suspect so. so yeah, that'll be next week. I When's the last day? To, can I get that on Christmas Eve for, to come Christmas? Oh morning? yeah, I'll just have it. <laughs> Christmas <laughs> Eve. You get it the day before. It's pretty it's as well, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> not even that Amazon means... delivery on Christmas Day, mate. <laughs> as the kids come down the stairs, I'll go Santa's at the door now, kids. <laughs> One second. <laughs> that way, it's already pre-wrapped. They can just open the boxes. Do you yeah, know what I mean? So can actually just... pay Amazon to wrap it for you? Can you? You can. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Jeff Bezos is on a mad one, isn't he? Um, <laughs> Luke, how are you, mate? All right, yeah, very well. Cheers, mate. Yeah, not bad at all. Yeah. Same as you, not done any shopping yeah. at all. Uh, yeah. I'm the worst Christmas shopper, I'm shit at buying gifts for people, absolutely useless. Um, yeah, yeah. Shit, shit to buy for as well, to be fair, because anything I want, I just go and buy it. I know that's yeah. a problem, isn't it? These days, <laughs> is, is, is Lynx Africa and socks still a thing? Because I don't, I don't really get socks, it as a yeah. sport for me anymore, but not yeah. it used to be every year, didn't it? Off your grandma, Lynx Africa. And uh, and a pack of socks, but yeah, Chris, are you all sorted for Christmas? Yeah, sorry to put you all to shame, but I'm double done. Wow, mm. what's double done mean? Does that mean <laughs> you bought ours as well? It means, <laughs> I've done next, it means I've done next Christmas as well. <laughs> <laughs> well buy mate works out cheaper. <laughs> He's done the next door neighbor's shopping for him. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. It all. There you go. Honestly, mate, I wish I had your organisation, man. I'm terrible for it. Um, right, let's get stuck straight into Blackburn Rovers then. I'm going to put this out there. I thought, right, genuinely, the game for me, straight after the game, I thought it was quite easy. And I know this might shock a lot of people because my comments were shocked by the blaseness of how I thought it was actually quite comfortable. Um, and I was quite shocked at how many people were like, Joe, you've got this one wrong. Did you watch a different game at me? And I was like, oh, really? And I had to check my thinking by Andrea and Lockie. I was like, have I really got this that wrong? Because for me, over the course of 90 minutes, yes, they've seen a lot of the ball, but I can't remember many chances other than the one from the corner that Melier saved, but all the Melier haters say should be saving that because they've got, you know, they've got an agenda, but it is what it is. Um, you can't do wrong for doing right, the lad. But I genuinely wasn't concerned. And I think, you know, we have two decent chances. We took them and that's how we'll do. Like, we, I didn't feel, for me, that we needed to get out of second gear. I thought we won that game at second gear. So if that's not easy, then I don't know what it is. But that's just my opinion. And I wanted to test it on news and tell me if I'm wrong or did you see it the same as me? Because I was quite shocked at the disparity in the comments. Luke, I'll come to you first. How did you see it, mate? Yeah, I mean, uh, pretty much the same. I didn't ever feel that we weren't in that game, really. You know, I felt we nullified them really, really well. We, they, they didn't look threatening at, in any stage, really, realistically. Um, and and the way we play football, the chances are always going to come. Now, I still think we need to be more clinical if we're going to be serious contenders to be going up automatically. Um, you know, uh, we had... We, we say it every week we have we have we have a not a lot of good chances. I think we're actually I've seen some statistics today and I don't I don't base my views on on data. Don't <laughs> go, don't jump down before, but, but uh, statistics something along the lines of I think we've 
uh, one of the highest expected goals, but we haven't converted or something like that. I can't remember it exactly. I don't really pay a lot of attention. Plus, my little mind doesn't work that well when I see loads of numbers on the screen. Um, but but yeah, it was it it was quite shocking. It almost painted a completely different picture to how the season was going because it it, it would suggest that actually, where in terms of good chances, we're not converting many compared to the other teams. I think Ipswich and Leicester are well above, uh, and we're and we're we're miles behind um, in terms of. Um, where we, where we should be, but look, while while whenever we're playing that style of football, um, and we are we have got a brand now, we have got a brand of football, which is what we're all we've all been after since since Marcelo left. We have got a, a style yeah. and, and 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 something we can enjoy. Um, the chances are always going to come, and and I, yeah, like, similar to you, I didn't ever really feel uncomfortable with the performance. Look, I think oh. it could, be better, and there's things that we can improve on, but yeah, but more more than comfortable three points. Yeah, and it seems to be pretty mixed in the comments as well still. Uh, Kate, what, what was your opinion on the game? I know you did a watch-along as well. How did you find it over the course of 90 minutes? Yeah, I thought. Do you know what I thought for for, for the? We, I thought we were comfortable for the whole match. Absolutely, I think for the first sort of um, 20, 15, 20 minutes, it was very scrappy. Um, and actually, just to 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 Luke's to Luke's point, I think if you look at the big chances that we we've kind of missed, it's it, it's extraordinary. You know, Ruta nine. These are big chances over the course of the season so far. Cree seven, Piro six. So we do need to be more clinical. But you know, in terms of an overall sort of team performance I thought that um, I actually thought Melier did well yeah. I, I didn't feel uncomfortable watching the back line like I usually do do you know what I mean he, he was confident I thought his distribution was good um, and there was some flashes of, of really great football obviously with the two goals both of those came from um, some great play Willie Nonto's chance came from that beautiful Jed, Jed Spence you know Getting the ball back, passing to Ampadu, crossing it, crossing it down down the pitch to to Willie Nonto to set up his 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 shot. So yeah, there were some flashes of really 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 great stuff. And Matteo Joseph, when he came on, I thought yeah. thought he was great as well. Kept Smodix quiet as as we that was obviously the game game plan. So it went according to to plan. It didn't you know it didn't set the world alight, but you know there were flashes of of, of great play and uh, we came away with three points and a clean sheet. So in the third kit. Can I just say? Yeah, so exactly. I thought it was great. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't realise that that dated back to Bor uh, Brentford away when we stayed yes. up under Jesse. Man, I genuinely didn't realise it was that long. Mental. Yeah. It's an atrocious kit, by the way. Sorry. Oh, for I love anyone. it, Joe. No, oh, I really don't it. like it. Honestly, I, really I think the don't. girls like it more than the boys. If I'm being honest. Yeah, no, 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 that's fair. Yeah, that's probably fair. That's probably the target market, isn't it? Um, which I understand. Um, and for anyone, for any man that's bought, that's fine as well, by the way. Let me just put that out there before you try and cancel me. Um, but <laughs> Chris, <laughs> let me uh, let me come to you. How did you find it, Paul? Um, you know, especially in this league, you're not going to get scintillating performances every game. It just doesn't happen, especially in the championship. But what you want to see every game is a professional performance. And that was a very professional performance for me. Yeah, Blackburn had loads of the ball at times, but... A lot like we've seen with us early part of the season, you can have all the ball you want, but if you don't do anything with mm -hmm. it, what's the point in having it? Um, so, and I've watched a few Blackburn reactions afterwards, and you, we know we can all get the blinkers on for either team, mm -hmm. but we were clinical. They had a couple of chances, or one real good chance, I guess. They, they won a few things from corners. We're always terrible defending corners, but they never threatened with them. I thought it was a really professional performance, and I think yeah. it's the best. I've seen that back four play this season, to be mm. honest. I thought they were brilliant as a as a yeah. collective, that back four. I really did. Especially, yeah. you know, Rodon leads it really well. And I think we're on the verge now of maybe not disrespecting, but not giving Pascal enough credit for just how good mm. he's becoming now. He's yeah. With Rodon, next, now he's got a proper defender next to him. Shock yeah. and behold, Pascal's <laughs> looking better as well and in the right yeah. position. So I just think it's really professional. Didn't get out of third gear. Hopefully... Nice quick turnaround to Sunderland, obviously. So rested legs, not too weary, and we go again. For me, yeah. perfect. Two 0 away at Blackburn. Take it exactly. Away. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I agree with you. A team that's in seventh and and like you say, professional as you like, and you're going to find that. I think maybe sometimes we do expect to 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 blow teams away all the time, and it's just not it's just not possible and it's not viable uh, for you to do. It's quite interesting hearing Daniel Farker today in the presser talk about look. 
after the second when the second half of the season comes around, i.e. January onwards, teams will drop points. Will drop points. He's been there, done it, and so will we. Do you know what I mean? He's so will we. I can't shake. I know we're not talking about Sunderland right now, but I can't shake that we're going to get a point. It's just something telling me we're not going to win the game. But that won't be such a bad thing, um, to be honest. But we will touch on that a little bit later on. Um the big thing, Luke, um, coming from the game uh, that's that's sort of rolled over is the fact that Byram did come off. Uh, we've got no Furpo, which is a good thing for me, but um, we've got no Shackleton uh, either. How did you think Jed got on at left back? Because when I watched the game, I really enjoyed it, but it wasn't until after the game when everyone's saying, oh, he didn't get back and Farker, 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 Farker was telling him off afterwards for not getting back. And I miss them things because I just got excited by his forward play. I'm like, yeah, look at him, look at him, look at him. You know what I mean? Uh, I got really yeah. giddy about Spence. But how, how did you think he'd get on there? And, and do you expect him to play there to, tomorrow night? Well, I think if you look at it a, a different way, imagine Judy Furpo had come on and done what, what, what Jed Spence wow. had done. I think we'd have been. I think we'd have been a little bit more obvious, and and it being a little bit more, you know, oblivious. You know, because it's Jed Spence, and and he's on loan from Spurs, and he was he did really well last time in the championship, and and, and you know, in these little cameos that he's already had for us. But yeah, I I felt I felt he he did well, but I thought he he made a lot of mistakes, uh, mm. and 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 the 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 attack where he just stayed forward as if he was a centre forward. I was like. Yeah. What what the fuck are you up to? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, you're not <laughs> like get back. You're like, uh, but yeah, I think you know he's not a left back, but it's it's the same job just on the other side, isn't it? He knows what he should be doing. Yeah. Um, did Farker tell him off, or did he give him a word of advice? Because he had the same yeah, conversation maybe. with Archie Gray. Um, yeah. I'm not so sure. Um, it might have been that there's there's been a conversation. Look, if you do get that far forward, then the winger who was Anthony, I think at the time, it might not have been. It might have been. Um, no, it might have been Anthony, I think. No. Was it Anthony? Anthony was on mm. at the time. Um, my, they might have had, you know, they might have said, look, if if Jed does get forward, just make sure you're there to fill in. We don't know, do you know? It no, might no, be something no. or nothing. But I think if we look at the positioning and, and the thing we pull mm. Purple apart on week in, week out, whenever he gets minutes on the pitch, mm. then if we're gonna if you know if we're gonna be fair about it, then it wasn't great. So I will not be fair on Junior Furpo. People <laughs> remind, people actually came for me on that, Luke, you know. So, <laughs> some, some people commented and saying, oh, if that were Furpo, I was like, I went, yeah, but Furpo shit. Spence is yeah. so <laughs> <laughs> But, but I, don't think, I, don't, I don't think Jed looked out of place. You know, there was a couple of times no, he lost yeah, the ball, yeah. won it straight back. He, he does <laughs> look as class act. I'm, there's no yeah. despite in that, you know, disputing yeah. that. It's 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 chalk and cheese. I'm not comparing him to Furpo. What I'm saying no, is, if we're, if we're going to if we're going to judge players based on their position and where they are on the field and and what they do wrong, if we'd have conceded from that, would we have been as harsh on him as we would have been if it had been Junior Furpo? That's my question. Yeah, yeah. Um... <laughs> no, the answer is no, Joe. Just said yeah, no, you exactly. wouldn't. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. My agenda would have continued to agenda. I can't <laughs> lie to you. <laughs> Okay, um, you you sort of agreed with Luke, um, think not getting back and stuff. But are you confident yeah. seeing him for the time that we did that he can go left back? Yeah, I I am. I think do you know what he looked like. He's played two matches. He's made two appearances this this season, and and he looked like like the you know the play, a play that 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 was a case. But yeah. you know we we did see some really again some sort of flashes of brilliance i mean his speed you know running up the pitch i mean he's he he is amazing at, at getting forward um some great some great little passes between him and Cree just outside the Blackburn box. But uh, yeah, I mean, he obviously needed to be reminded by Daniel what the hell he's supposed to be doing, what his role is. Yeah. And um, I think I would like to see him start tomorrow. Um, and, you know, I think it can only, it can only get better. I mean, literally he needs Matt, he need he needs minutes, doesn't he? So, yeah. um, but I am, I am confident that he, he'll, he'll come good, you know. For sure. Um, and Chris, I don't know if you've seen the press conference today, but uh, Daniel Farker was asked about a left back and mm. whether or not having injuries would mean he'd be active. And his actual response was, which was a great response, we were already looking at that position before any injuries. So that's a positive. So the fact that, you know, we've got two, well, three, I mean, yes, Shackleton, throw him in there. It's, it is a positive that the club will look to go and, and get a proper left back, uh, you know, in January. At least that's one player that I feel that will come in the door. 
Yeah, definitely. I, and it's nice to hear Daniel saying that, you know, that we were actively looking anyway and mm. already probably, I would imagine, making moves in the background. You know, this isn't yeah. not done or kick off on January the 1st, does it? There's no. sort of weeks and months of prep that goes into approaching for a player. So, I, I mean, will it be the final day where we actually sign a left back? Can hope for a left back who can play football unlike the like junior yeah. Furpo. Um, but I think for the meantime, I think Spence is fine. Bit of ring yeah. rustiness. Yeah, we want to see every player bust the gut and, you know, get back if they lose the ball or don't get it or whatever. But I think he's fine in there. And what I do like about him is he's an absolute unit. And I've just said yeah. we're really susceptible from set pieces. He's another six foot pluser in there defending, big, strong lad. So I'm happy with him there for now. We know probably his final position is going to be on, obviously, at right back and the, uh, the, the, Duke Bellingham 2.0 will then move into midfield or whatever. But um, yeah, for now, I think he'll he'll do a good enough job. Um, and I think with the renewed confidence of Pascal as well, he's got him next to him mm, covering yeah. him as well. So I'm not worried. Yeah. It's not like the Premier League where we're conceding 35 chances a game. This is the yeah. championship. So nice and tight, nothing too daft. And I think he'll be fine there. Yeah, exactly. What what does, what does impress me, even when he loses it, his recovery speed is insane. Mm. He's able to get back and get goal side or nick the ball. And it's like, mm. you know, like you mentioned, with Stroud, who's probably not the quickest, if he has got Spence there, if any balls do get put in behind, he's, he's going to be there to cover. Mm. Uh, Chris brought it up, Luke. Archie Gray, another t- top performance and got an assist as well, you know, from mm. the right-back position. You know, that little yeah, my passage mom, it, of play. It, it's getting to the point now where we're just expecting him to have sort of eight, yeah. nines out of tens every yeah. game because he's just simply that good. Uh, and And... and it probably will get to a point where we start to take it for granted and we'll just expect him to do it every game. Um, but yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a different class in it. He's, he's just so so mature for his age. I say it every week that I cannot believe that he's 17 years old and what I was doing at 17 year old. Do you know what I mean? You know, how sensible he is compared to like that. Do you remember that far back, can you, Luke? It's only, it only 10 years ago, Kate. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Just um, a hard paper round, right? Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. But it just plays. It just plays well, well above his age, well above his years. He's, 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 got, he's come from a good stable, and you know, he's got, yeah. he's got, a, he's got a good, a good support network around him who've been there and done it. They know what it means to be Leeds. He just gets it. He's, he's just the most complete Leeds player we could have asked for to come through at this time. Yeah, he's. I tell you what, as well, Kate. He's not shy. Cause I, mean, I assume you'd have seen the article where basically he said, "I want to win the Champions League with Leeds, yeah. Captain, Eng- uh, Captain England, and win the Ballon d'Or." I was like, "All right, fair enough, lads." Do you know what I mean? Why not? Why not? Do you know what I mean? I mean, the way he played on on. I mean, that, that little sort of the passing that he that he sort of yeah. uh, interchanged with with Ritter on 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 uh, Saturday was sublime it was just so like intuitive he just knows his like positional awareness is just amazing it was an absolute joy yeah. to watch but yeah he probably will like like uh, Chris said like J- uh, Jude Bellingham like 2.0 do you know what I mean why not I think I think what I liked about his assist was people always say about the top players the thinking two or three passes ahead and Archie there clearly is thinking not just about the pass into Rutter, but he passes it, he moves. He already mm. knows where the next ball's going if it comes back to him. And it's weighted perfectly. Yeah. And then awful first touch from Cree, but it sort of confused everyone and just shifted everyone <laughs> a little bit. And then it's a great finish. Um, yeah. But he's he's different, Grave. And you know what? Positive manifestation. Say it enough times and it'll happen. And that's what Archie's doing. He's like, Ballon d'Or in the future. Yeah. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Why not? Do you know the 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 best thing was as well, Chris, was when he says, "I want to play for Leeds with Harry." Because I was like, "Okay, well, yeah. that gives us another three or four years at yeah. least." Do you know yeah, what I mean? yeah. <laughs> because the mad thing is, Harry uh, Archie made his dead. Well, he didn't, but he was on. He was in the squad at fifteen. Now we know that he was in the squad due to the issues when we played Arsenal under Bielsa. Half a team was out and that, but. He's 15, so it won't be that long before Harry's on the bench. You never know, do you? You know what I mean? So, that would be, game uh, or something. Get, get the on the bench. Yeah, get it get it done, man. It'll be class, to be fair. Yeah, um, it'll be a great Uncle Eddie in the stand in, in Shed, the fix of tears, won't they, with the yeah. two boys oh. on the pitch? <clears throat> yeah, definitely. Um, let's talk about Somerville, because he scored again. I don't think he was amazing, Luke, but there's a case for him going to end up being top goal scorer over the course of the season, I think. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I can't see why not. I mean, I think I've seen rumours today that Burnley are going to come back in for him. Um, I don't see him leaving. I've seen, I've seen uh, quotes <clears throat> from Cree as well saying that at the end of last season he had to sort of reset and have a think about what he wanted, and he felt the right mm. thing was was obviously to stay with us mm. and, uh, and and give us at least this season. So I uh, look. Uh, Come the end of the season, if we haven't been promoted, then I think it's a different story. But um, mm-hmm. I, 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 I feel confident enough to think that he's enjoying his football enough in the position we're in and the position we could be in come the end of the season that that he'll stay and give us to the end of the season. And and if he is, he'll, he'll certainly be up there towards the top, uh, yeah, top top three, I'd say. And I think closely followed by Piro. Yeah, yeah, no, you, you, you make a good point. Let me just shout out Andy Peacock. Merry Christmas to those five people he's just gifted. Uh, just your memberships too. So there you go. Big up to you uh, that have picked them up. I think YouTube select them randomly, folks. So don't have a go, Andy, if you haven't got one. Uh, they just come randomly to you, all right? Um, Donny, let, let me just... Uh, I called you Donna then. It's because I was reading it. Kate, Donna says, excited to see what Matteo Joseph can do. You mentioned him earlier on as well. Oh, God, yeah. I he, mean... He did so well when he came on, right? Oh, it was superb. And it was so... It was amazing to see him on the bench. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I, no, I don't no, want to no. get in. I don't want to like you know preempt any sort of. Look uh, at this bit, by the way. Look at this bit. <laughs> <laughs> no, absolutely not. It's not. Been, no. on, it's all about on merit for me, Joe. It, 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 look, if, he's, if he's performing better, if Daniel, sorry, Kate, I just just before you get That's this out, right, if, if Daniel Farker thinks that Matteo Jove is if, is a better option than Paddy, then I'm all for it. Yeah. Mm. Good man. Good man. absolutely yeah absolutely um but it all i've always said it's on merit though do you know what i mean um I, it's just it just it's great to see him he, he impressed impressed me when he came on you know we were two nil up and he started causing problems for um for blackburn you know pressing really hard um forcing fouls um yeah i was really really happy with him he seemed oh, hungry yeah. it looks physically stronger this season and um yeah professional performance i think from him considering yeah. uh, how young he is, really, yeah. and how little match time, first team game time he's had. Yeah, and, and and Chris, it was important, even though he came on and he had a little cameo, but he did impress in that short little bit. And you, you would think, I mean, Bamford's out with the sniffles at the minute, but... Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> it's quite interesting in the press conference, you know, Daniel Parker said, um, we've had a few people come in moaning of uh, cold and flu, but, um, you know, we need a bit of steel and that, he said. And it felt like he was having a little dig. For me, anyway, I read between the lines, but maybe I'm wrong. Um, but it he is important. He, that wasn't he... Back. he also said Paddy wasn't, hadn't been back to yeah. him, so he mentioned yeah. it specifically. Yeah, yeah, so there you go. There is, um, a lot of, there is a lot of nasty stuff going around at the moment, Joe, to be oh. fair. Oh, so you're now sticking up for Bamford. No, I, I know. Really I like that. I like wow. that little flex you did there. What's no, I'm there? not. I'm not. <laughs> he, was, uh, he was good, wasn't he, Matty? I, there was one little yeah. period, and I think Kate sort of half touched on it there, where, you know, it's 2-0. We're trying to almost wind the clock down, see the game out, and the ball goes up to him, and he's just strong. He gets his body in between ball and defender, takes the foul, stops the game, wastes 30, 45 seconds, and it's just smart centre-forward mm. play again from a young kid. You know, we're on about Archie and that football brain. Yeah. And that was really clever. He didn't try and, you know, the Rabone or anything else, turn him and go down the line. He just stood his ground, let the defender touch him, fell over, done. It's really smart play. And I think we've got a real, real good crop of kids yeah. just appearing on the edges. Now, obviously, Archie's next level and, he's, you know, probably one of the first names on the team sheet right now. But yeah. I think there's a good crop coming in behind Archie as well. And it's, it's great to see. And I think they've got... Just the right manager to, you know, take them to that next level now and make them properly championship players and hopefully, you know, squad players when when we get promoted. Not yeah. if when. Yeah, no, I say that as well. When it's going to happen, we're now hitting that, you know, more than two points a game target mm-hmm. at the minute. And if you get rid of August, Leeds United are being the top two. We will we will touch on the others, but um, be. Before we do, I just want to give uh, love to Dan James. I was one of his... I, I Listen, I couldn't stand watching him. Um, I didn't want him in the squad. Um, you know, I, he was so frustrating. And the, the the switch, and you have to give praise, you know, the, the switch when he picks up the ball now and mm. he's through on goal, 
I don't think he's going to miss, which is mad when I compare with my reaction to him in the first five games. I'd be like, oh, oh he's going to yeah. miss. He's made the wrong. He even squared one that Rutter should have scored from that was a perfect pass across goal. And you're like, how has no one got on the end of that? So he's, his decision making, his decisions when to go, when to cross, he's, he's finishing for me is exemplary because that ball that gets put through to him, he puts it right in the corner. Mm. The, the keeper's still rooted yeah, to the spot. I would argue he's playing probably the best football of his career. Do you mm. know what I mean? And I think he's equaled Gary Speed's record three consecutive games or something. Now he's scored for Leeds, which again, that's big for Leeds United fans. You know, you're going and, 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 equaling records of legends like that at the football club. And, yeah, I just want to give props and give people the opportunity to just say, look, I mean, I think, Luke, you were a you were a big supporter anyway, right? But, I mean, what a season he's having. Yeah, I mean, I couldn't say support, but I just, I just, I sort of called it quite early that how effective I felt it would be for us this season. Um, and now I'd be lying if I said I think, I thought he'd be more effective than Willie Nonto in this league. But yeah. he's he's absolutely outshining, you know. Arguably, the the majority of that front line, you know, other than Cree, I probably would mm. say that he's probably been our second best second best option <laughs> up there. I mean, obviously they're, they're working well as a as a front four, but um, but yeah, no, I, look, I I I did call it. I said for for it, I called him and Pascal at the start of the season actually to have to have important seasons for us. Um, so yeah, quite quite happy with that, but. But look, while ever while ever anyone's going to be playing well and doing well for his look, he's 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 another one who 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 just gets it. He'll get forward. He'll mm. get back. He'll put his foot in. He'll he's got a, he can leap for a little lad as well. He can get up. He'll win an header. And yeah, even if he head. doesn't win an header, he puts himself in there just to just you know put put a bit of pressure on the defenders as well. Which yeah. and it, and he's a tough little lad. Like you know what I mean. I remember mm. watching against uh, when we played. Was it Burra? Yeah, Burra the week before and. At home, he, he got fouled probably no less than five times in that game. Bad fouls as well. And he just kept getting up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Did he score in that game? Right. Header as well, didn't he? Yeah, yeah he scored. Yeah. 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 yeah, he did, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's phenomenal at the minute. He's in, he's in yeah, such I good form. Like, I was just, I think I was probably in between the two. I was just a bit indifferent about Dan James at the start of the season. But like you say, I think it's, I think there's three things here. I think there's, uh, confidence he's clearly full of confidence now. Um, proper coaching, um, exactly. clearly Daniel Fark is having an influence on him and playing him in the right position. And I think put those three things together, and you've got a player in Dan James. And the best thing I saw from him against Blackburn and I, <laughs> was just his roadrunner impression. I think I've heard it called where <laughs> the ball went behind the defender and he took off for about 25 <clears> yards <throat> behind him, just like meep, meep, and just. <laughs> <absolutely> <laughs> <good>. <laughs> That boy is probably happy when he gets his head of steam up. I just, yeah, yeah, fair play with him. I'm really thrilled for him. Yeah, definitely. It was uh, another, like, like Chris, I think Chris got it bang on right at the start when he said professional performance for sure. Um, another great performance. Make sure you're smashing the likes, everyone, and subscribing to everyone's channel. Just shout out to Andrew Shenton for the super sticker. Jan Vida has just become a member. Thank you very much. And also gifted as one as well. Thank you very much, Jan Vida. Welcome to the Just Joe family. If you are here, it's a great community. Um, so yeah, please, please stay here. Michael just says Jorginho, top player. What a player. Um, yeah, he's, he's, he's just great. Um, Mark Connors here. We are going to talk about Sunderland. You were in earlier as well, mate. He says, as a Sunderland <laughs> fan, Sunderland will go toe to toe with you tomorrow night. We did it against Southampton and smashed them 5 0. Well, um, I don't think that'll happen tomorrow, but I do think it'll be a tough game. Um, just looking at it, the big one for me, Jack Clark and Archie Gray, left wing, right back. Um, surely they'll have come across each other at the youth levels at Leeds United, you would have thought. I know there's. I'm thinking because Archie's that good and, you know, maybe they'd have met somewhere because Archie would have played above his years, maybe, do you think? No? How old's Jack? Is he 22, 23? He's only young, isn't he? Let me have a look. He may be a bit um, older than that now because he went to Spurs, didn't he? So he must, yeah, must be... He spent time at Stoke and that. He's 23, mate. Archie's yeah. 17. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah. yeah See, it's Archie. Good. Archie would have been Megan him when he was eight, mate. Yeah, so, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Probably, mate. Yeah, maybe they didn't. But they've both come through the same setup. So, yeah. I mean, that story now is just gone because they don't even fucking know each other. So, <laughs> let's, let's move on. 
Jack they might really hate each other. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That makes a better story, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. But look, Sunderland, um, no Tony Mowbray, sacked their manager last week. Um, crazy. Crazy. Um, however, they've got, I'm just looking here, Mike got Dodds. went on Saturday, didn't they? Yeah, Mike Dodds in charge, who, yeah. after getting a 2-1 win against West Brom, is going to stay in charge for this game. Um, will be the first time... If they did win, they'd secured back-to-back -back wins for the first time in two months, if they do win. Um, just having a look here, uh, they look well-placed and they wait for a point, given they've won three of the last four at home. However, visit from High Fine League United may put the brakes on that because they've lost eight of their last ten home games against League United. So we have a decent record against them. I remember going there myself when we beat them 2-0. I think Samu Saiz and Alioski, I think, scored in that game. To that be knowledge. Yeah, well, mate, I was at it. I remember the games I was at. I was remember the games I was at. Um, but yeah, listen, how, how are we feeling about this one? Do we do we think we'll we'll win? I'm a little bit nervous, I can't lie to you. I look at it, I think Stadium of Lights a tough place to go. They got a good and, result uh, on the weekend. Only 2,000 away tickets as well. Exactly. And so, right as well. someone said on my yeah, channel yeah. this morning that they know that, that they know the the effect that, that lead supporters can have. So, I mean, do you yeah. know what I mean? 2,000 tickets, not a lot, but I'm sure we can still sort of make our voices heard. Yeah. 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 I mean, I, yeah. A bit of disruption. I think the simplest way I can put it for me is we need another Blackburn performance. Yeah. Nice mm. and solid. Sunderland will have some of the ball like Blackburn did. Uh, they're a good team of Sunderland, I think, and they're flying this season. I know they've had a, a bit of a dip recently and stuff, but generally they're, they're going well and they're a good side. I'm absolutely gobsmacked they got rid of Mowbray, but who knows yeah. what's going on behind the scenes maybe. But I think it'll be a close game, but I think we need another Blackburn performance, nice and solid, nothing stupid. And I think with, with that front four, we're always going to create enough to hopefully nick Nick. If not three points, definitely one. I do fancy mm. us to nick it two one. <clears throat> yeah, two one. Well, but yeah. how are you? How are you, Luke, with it? Yeah, similar to how I felt before um, the Borough game. Did Borough come after Coventry? Yeah, it did, didn't it? So we had Coventry midweek and then played Borough, didn't we? Not played Coventry yet, mate. So I don't know where you were. Coventry Saturday. <laughs> Sorry, Coventry Saturday. Were you playing the Tuesday? Were you playing the Tuesday? Who did we play on the Tuesday before? Uh, yeah. Um... We played at home. We beat Swansea. Swansea, mate. Swansea. Yeah. Swansea. So, 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 yeah. yeah. Sorry. So, so. I just feel like when the games come that close to, to one another, there's always an opportunity for a banana skin for me. Yeah, um, yes. And we'd played somebody midweek and then we played Burrow and I said something like, I fear more playing Burrow at the weekend. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I, I feel it'll be a tough test. You know, they've only had two days rest. Um Two away games on the bounce. It's it's mm. not it's not going to be easy. They, they're going to they're gonna be feeling a little bit more tired. Um, that then potentially they normally would. I'm sure they've got it all in hand, though. They'll know they'll know how to prepare. Um, that it's not going to be any easier for Sunderland. They've just played West Brom, who, who were in fourth at the time or fifth, I think, and then yeah. and then they're playing playing Leeds as well. So yeah, I, nervous, but I still feel that we've got far far more um, quality. And 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 yeah, professionalism. I think going back to what Chris said, I think if we can put another professional performance in and don't do anything daft and don't make too many silly mistakes, then our opportunities will come again, and and we probably will still feel in control. Um, yeah, they, they've got a couple of good players. Um, obviously Jack Clark being 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 the best of theirs at the minute, but they've they've also got um, Patrick Roberts in it from yes. City, uh, Celtic Patrick as well. Robert. I think I think That's he was him, at yeah. Celtic. They've yeah, got so the. the Huggins as well, I think it was. Huggins, now Huggins, Huggins yeah. Rose, yeah. And yeah, uh, there's another, well the right back, um, Trey Hume as well. He's uh, he's yeah. decent, 21 year old. So there's a few players. Trey Hume, Daniel Ballard. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah, a few, so to be fair. Yeah. But I'm still, I'm still confident. I, I don't think there's anybody in this league. If we play with, if we play professionally, nobody in this league would beat us. If we put professional performance in, there's not any team. Yeah. Um, that would beat us. I, I I read an interesting another stat that I don't base my my opinions on. Um, <laughs> but by by New Year, we will have played almost all of the top half of the table away from home. Away from home, yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah, yeah, wow. nice in it. They've all got that makes a difference, road. right? When it comes 100%. to the running, it's a huge difference. 
Mm. Especially when you consider our form as well. Like it's mm. like teams are coming to Ellen Road thinking, oh, have they not, not been beaten yet? Do you know what I mean? So it's oh, like yeah. that as an added thing. Like this game, I'm already thinking, well, if we do drop points, we'll definitely win against Coventry on weekends for at home. Do you know what I mean? Even my head's like that at the yeah. minute. It's the middle of the week, that's... like cold, cold <clears throat> middle of the week yeah. away fixture, though, yeah. isn't it? We don't have a great history of those, and that that's the sort it's of. It's cold up here as well. I'll tell you that much. It's <laughs> struggled, struggled at Stoke, didn't we? Yes. <clears> yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Struggled on the Friday I'm night against Rotherham, Hull City. That was a midweek game. There's all these. Things. Joe Bellingham as well. We almost forgot him. Yeah. Joe Bellingham. Oh, Christ, yeah. And he's a lone striker now. He played 4 1 4 1 on Saturday, okay. um, the new manager or the interim mm. manager. So it'll be interesting to see how they how they um set up because it was 4 2 3 1 under Tony Mowbray, but uh, they're playing Joe Bellingham up front now. So he'll get put in the bin by road on Strand. Don't worry <laughs> about that. We'll sort that out. Um <laughs> Chris, would you make any changes at all? Obviously, other than the force one at left back. Uh, obviously, depending on fatigue and stuff like that, which we're not we, we're not aware of. Um, <clears throat> probably not because of what's because of the injuries. Uh, if there wasn't the injuries, I'd be tempted to push Arch into midfield and maybe give Ampadu a rest, who's looked a little bit leggy the last couple of games to me. I'm not. This isn't before people start firing off. This isn't me saying yeah. Ampadu's crap or anything mm -hmm. else. He's been fantastic this season. I think he's just looking like a player who's played a lot of games. Um, mm -hmm. So I'll be tempted for a little bit of rotation. I don't know if the Sunderland game would be the right game to do that necessarily. But mm. for me, stick with what's working as much as we can. That, and that's it for me. Really. Maybe there's an option to maybe you look at Nontongo. He'll be nice and fresh. But who do you drop? You can't drop James exactly. or Cree. So what do you do? Exactly. exactly. What would be that? What would be that? Sorry, sorry. I was just going to ask Chris, what would we, we were talking about this before, uh, earlier today? What would be the the you know most appropriate game to 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 rest Ampadu? Because like they're all really important. They are all really important. You're right, and I guess it's um. I don't know. Peter Peterborough. I'd like to see all the changes for Peterborough when we're going yeah, this absolutely. well in the. I know it's what people will say momentum and all the rest of it, and I get it, I hundred percent get it, and I want to see us win. But the relentlessness of this league, and for me, what is still, we're, we're a really high quality squad, but we're we're not massive. So if we lose two or three of these top players, all of a sudden there looks to be gaps until we get to January, maybe. So for me, you know, the cup can take a hit this year, and I don't like saying that. I want to see us win every game, but there's it takes one every year, Chris, does it anyway? <laughs> what we do? <laughs> I'm with you, look. I couldn't give a shit about it, honestly. If we get beat, I'm honestly, I will not yeah. lose any sleep. I don't care. Do not care. I don't worry. I know, and this is a thing. I think people say we have a really good bench. We do have a really good bench, but how much is there beyond that at the minute? Exactly. Do you know what I mean? And all of a sudden, oh, yeah. we're back in the 15 year old Harry Gray sat on the bench because we got no one else. And, and Make as, it happen. As great as he apparently is, I don't want to be back there just, just now no. in this no, league. No. I agree, mate. I agree. We're going to have to talk about it because I'm just looking now. Watford kick off uh, against Ipswich 15 minutes before us. How frustrating is it getting for you, lads, that, that and lasses, sorry, <laughs> you know, that we win the game and I'm looking at Ipswich Borough and I'm thinking they're going to drop points. Oh, it's God, only four, yeah. It's only four points and then they don't. And I'm like, oh, are we going to get... <laughs> I don't know. I'm starting to lose a little bit of faith, if I'm honest. But Ipswich do have some tough games. They've got Norwich, yeah. us, and Leicester us. coming up. But yeah, it's getting a little bit frustrating, isn't it, Kate? Yeah, it, it is. I mean, I, I, I thought Borough would do us a favour on Saturday, mm. um, and then you see like Leicester thumping, you know, Plymouth four nil. Um, I think the only really the only one that really went in our favour mm. was um, some, uh, um, Southampton. Southampton won it. Or Watford drawing with Southampton, and uh, I don't know. Maybe you know history might repeat itself. You know, maybe they can yeah. do a do a job. But but I mean, Ipswich are on form at the moment. I don't know why they keep bloody winning. <laughs> it's a nightmare. They're a good side. Yeah, I know yeah. they are. I know, but they've got I to think, come across the same. I think because the stage to. of the season we're at, I'm in sort of doff my cap mode at them. Like, do you know what? Fair yeah, play. Yeah. You can all you can only win your own games, and they're going out every week and winning the games. I think when we get if we get to February, March, and we're still having these conversations, I'll be like, yeah. oh, but at the minute, <laughs> I'm just like, fair play to you. You know, and we'd be if not above them, 
But we had the slow start and there was reasons for the slow start. We knew there was yeah. going to be, you know, a build up for us. So, yeah, I'm, to be fair, I'm just enjoying us winning football football matches at the minute mm. after the last couple of okay. seasons. I'm here for it. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I think normally, like forty-one point haul at this stage of the season would see us already in the top two, if not top of the league. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's uh, just been one of them, hasn't it? Uh, the official Zoom says, "Are you happy so so far with the 49ers? What improvements?" Listen, I wasn't initially, but I am now. I can't lie. To you. <laughs> doing, let's go Niners! They're doing yeah. a fantastic job. Mate. I think after the summer of. <laughs> just complete drama and you know all the ship jumpers yeah. i don't think they could have done a better job than what they did mm. along with really. manuel farker in the summer um and i think clearly from farker's <coughs> comment today that you've mentioned joe they're not resting on the laurels either yeah. this isn't a that's your squad deal with it they're going to probably strengthen again in january so yeah we can't ask for any more than that right as fans majority yeah. signings paying off it's all good mm. for me it's quietly that's going the about the business well. right yeah yeah when he was asked about the left back, if you think back to previous seasons, they'd be like, yeah. well, Strout can play there and he yeah. can play there. Well, he was asked about Leo Hjeld and he went, yeah, Leo can play there, but he's not in our plans and he's under 21s, basically saying mm. he's on his way. Do you mm. know what I mean? And he came out and said that in the presser. So that straight away was like, he's not messing about. You know what mm. I mean? He's he not as if he's saying, did he not play tonight? Well, there you go. Um, I, I think he's gone, though, Luke. I, I'm yeah. not having that he's involved in the squad tomorrow because the way that he said it in the press it was very much like mm. not in our plans. That's why he's been playing with the under 21s. So if he's in the squad, I'll look like a tit now, but I just can't see it. <laughs> cannot see he won't it. be. Um, I, don't nah, think he will be. I, I think he'll be sold. I think a few Italian mm. clubs were looking at him in the summer, weren't they? So I'd imagine maybe he goes back there. Um, yeah, I'm. Do we. Do we expect Ipswich or Leicester to drop points? So Ipswich are away at Watford. I think Leicester are at home against Millwall. I think Leicester will probably win that about three or four nil. Won't they? Oh, but, God, um, yeah. yeah, it's it's it been. I, I just for that brief second when we won in the morning and it were four points, I were like, oh um, my God, that's nothing. That's <laughs> nothing. And then they went and won again. You know what I mean? Is it? Are we expecting them to drop points? Um, I mean. Watford had a nice, a decent result against Southampton. Uh, yeah. Nick to draw, didn't they? Uh, mm -hmm. Watford haven't been beaten in four, three or four. I don't think they're beaten. Hull, they beat Hull at Hull mm -hmm. as well. So they're not, you know, they're not, they're not. They, they seem to have turned their, turned over a little bit. I think they've only been beaten by uh, by Leicester in recent weeks uh, for a for yeah. fair few games. In fact, yeah, they have. Um, so so then it won't be a, no easy pushover. But I, I think whilst ever. Ipswich have got their first eleven available to, to them under the under McKenna. They are so well drilled, mm. and they just know how to play football to his style so well because they did it for however long last season. You know mm. they played forty six games last season under him, um, and and you know they went for so long unbeaten at home until we went and ruined that 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 record. And I, th I think I think I think it'd be tough. I think I, I think I can see him dropping points tomorrow. I think it'll be a draw. Oh, nice. Dear. But if they draw, we draw. <laughs> it make yeah, any probably, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what. <laughs> if we I'm win at that game. stage yet, I'm not at that stage yet where I'm sort of. I no, mean, I'm, I'm looking not. at the results, <laughs> but I'm not sort of saying right. We need to better their result at this stage yet, as Chris yeah, said earlier. We, you know, we're not even halfway through a season yet. You know, we've got we've got a long, long way to go. Uh, and 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 I'm just enjoying going to watch Leeds and actually getting <laughs> you know I'm seeing us win. Um, yeah. I think since Bielsa left, I went to. I think I only see Sora's win about seven times in like the best part of a year and a half. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I've seen more than that this yeah. year. So yeah, yeah well, well, I mean, whilst we whilst we expect and and, and need Leicester or, or it should start dropping points, if it doesn't come now, I, I expect both. If one, if not both of them, will have will have a lull at some stage of the season. Hundred percent. And I think playing like amazing football as well. That's what we do. We will get like you say, we're yeah. developing our own brand. We've got our own style. And you know, just keep keep keeping on doing that, and and hopefully winning. You know what I mean? And yeah. We've got a manager who knows how to navigate this league, and let's yeah. not yeah. let's not um, pull any punches. It's a big job is navigating this league, especially yeah. through Christmas and in the second half of the season. And we've got one who's you know the track records there for all to see. And uh, uh, Daniel Farker has got a huge part to play in this up against the other managers in and around him. Yeah, you yeah. agree, and I, 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 I think, think as well. Go on, Luke. 
And I just, I, just to go back to what I said earlier, I think the benefit <clears> and the bonus we've got going into the second half of the season is that top half we've all got to play again at home. Yeah. yeah. Which will which will be massive. Yeah. And I and I also think that's where we'll start to see more of the rotation. I almost feel that Farker knows what what's needed from that first eleven to get to a certain point and then he'll start changing it. I think anyway, do you know what I mean? He's been here before, he's done it, like Chris said. He, there's no better place manager. He's won it twice. Do you know what I mean? So and do you know what? At this start at this stage of the season, I prefer being the shark than the bait. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Because yeah. we've been the bait and it's not yeah, nice United. when we start getting reeled in, it's not good. Yeah. Remember like uh, Chris uh, Chris Wilder, then Muppets up there, that yeah. Bamford and yeah. that, you know what I mean? I was like, oh God. But yeah, <laughs> listen, maybe they'll oh don't, because then I've just had flashbacks of Basham at Ellen Road, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> road on that, we? yeah, oh mate, it was horrible that day. Was, um wow. <laughs> the official Zoom said, I'm just a 49ers fan. They haven't sent us Christmas cards, so they need to work on that, mate. But, uh, yeah. Um, all right, OK. At least they're getting us out there in America sticking leads on the yeah. Christmas cards. Uh, they just need to put... Just Christmas Daniel cards. in it. Unbelievable yeah. heart. <laughs> 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 um, but, yeah, it's all good, that, isn't it? Right, let's, before we finish up, let's get some score predictions for tomorrow, then. Um I think it's going to be one all. Oh, I want us to I, 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 look. I want us to win the game. I've just got, something's telling me one all. But if we score first, then we we'll probably win because we normally do. But while Luke's umming and ahhing, Kate, I'll come to you. Two one for me. Leeds, yeah. Yeah, two one to Leeds, yeah. Good stuff, Chris. Two one, Joel Peru, as I now know his name is pronounced, and um, Craig because Craig's just going for fun, and Joel gets one in every two. And he didn't score last game, so two one. Mm. There you go. That's a good <clears throat> shout. What about you, Luke? Three two. I think it's to be nice. quite open. Tomorrow. Nice. I think the changes at the back as well, even just that subtle change, even if we'd only make that one for one, um, yeah. I think will be enough to give them enough, you know, enough to get a couple. But uh, I just think we'll outscore them. I think there's. I don't think there's any team better than us in this league when we're playing well and providing providing we have a uh you know everybody Smooth having a seven or eight. There. Yeah, a seven or eight out of ten. Everybody's everyone's at the races, then I think we'll uh I think we'll prove too much for them, hopefully. I hope you're right, mate, because uh well, I'd that's ruined not. the next. It's ruined the next episode of this, and it when we're all like, "Well, that was shit." <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? But you know, I'm just looking after that. Oh, after that, we've got two home games: Leeds, uh, Coventry, Leeds, Ipswich. Ooh. Yeah, exciting times. You know, yeah. These next three games, especially with, did you say Ipswich are playing? Um, <clears throat> yeah, Ipswich. Ips, no, Ipswich play <clears throat> Watford. Then they've got Norwich Friday night. Then they've then got us. us, and then they've got Leicester. That's a massive mm. three, four games now. This there yeah, could massive, be huge yeah. swings here. I mean, mm. there might not be as well, and it could no, be a yeah, huge yeah, yeah. swing the other way. Yeah. But there could be a huge swing over the next four games. But one of I told man, time. January the first, mm. January the first will be in the top two. I said it for weeks. I made the mistake of putting it on Twitter. Oh, I can't <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll go with that. <laughs> so it'll be bookmarked up to death. I muted it. <laughs> I, tell, I tell you what, I tell you what, that that um the old farm derby, uh that, that yeah. will take a lot that will take a lot 100%, 100%. of the players. Hundred percent. And it's at Norwich as well, bro. It's at yeah, Norwich as well. Yeah, that will take a so, lot out of out of but, turn it just derby. before they play us as well. <laughs> the what? Turn it derby. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> It's a big one for them, that though, isn't it? It is a big one, Norwich Huge. Ipswich. Yeah. Oh god, yeah. Yeah. And it might my, be my the start mates, of, my mates uh, Go on, mate. Great, Chris. I was just gonna say it might be the start, you know, because that'll be a bit of a blood and thunder derby, will that? And Ipswich, again, I was talk about our squad, and we've got a great squad, don't get me wrong. But Ipswich, if they start getting two or three injuries, then there could be a huge drop. And it's all if buts and maybes, but you never know, dear. And a, a close run of games. Hard one like Norwich, then us, then Leicester. That's going to start taking its toll on a what is a small squad in the championship. As great as they've been, it is. Yeah, no, it's you're right. And I think doesn't mm. that, I think Kate might have said it. Is it Morthy goes off to the Concacaf? Their captain he, he, doesn't he play for Australia? No, he's, well? he's Egyptian, but he, he hasn't oh, okay. been playing for Egypt. Ah, right, okay. Oh well, that's that one gone then. Um, that's a good one. That's but there is Luongo. 
Luongo, Luongo. and right. uh, I think it's one of the centre backs. Is it um, the Aussie? I forget his I'm name. Not sure. Quite, he's quite, quite good sure. for him, though. But anyway, he, uh, my one of my mates writes for like the Ipswich column away. Herald. He's massive. Se- yeah. Ipswich Herald or something like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Luongo. Yeah, Massimo Luongo's going, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he's he's yeah. he's like um, he writes for him. And he, he's he's a, goes home and away and that. Anyway, he said he would rather win that that derby than beat us and Leicester. Wow, okay. that's a great mentality. We want that mentality. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah absolutely. <laughs> I've just realised as well, their games Burgess. are half 12 on the Is Saturday. What? Half 12. Their games are half 12 on the God. Saturday. And then it's us versus Coventry. Like, fucking that game, I'm telling you. <laughs> it, let's hope, right? They drop points against Watford, lose that, and then we Beckham will be on here. I know what I'm saying. Like, you know, we said at the start, yeah, Blackburn felt all right. I was quite comfortable watching it. That yeah, Coventry yeah. game will be an absolute bag of shit if that happens from kick-off. Oh, no, We're going to yeah. ruin it. We're going to ruin it. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's it's good. I love Christmas and football. I mean, that's why you can't beat England for the football on Christmas. I don't mm. think Boxing Day and all that is class. I'm going to um, rest on Boxing Day. Can't wait. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, it'll be a good. Oh well, they'll, they'll give about seven thousand do you summer. Uh, five and a half, I think. Oh, is it only five and a half at Preston? Yeah. It's good to away day though, isn't it? Because it's, it's my it. favourite away day. I love Preston yeah. away. It's class is deep there. Yeah. It it's a good night out as well. I think they do themselves a disservice, Blackburn and that. Because a lot, I yeah, know yeah, it's yeah. great money wise, but it was like a fucking home tide. Do you know mm. what I mean? It's a bit mad. You could near the Blackburn like, supporters, could no. you? I mean, half the season. Apparently, they don't have the shop, like, they? <laughs> they'd only gone for a wander and walked in the wrong gate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, we'll be fine. Uh, Molly says, it's been a great panel mm. tonight. Thanks again, John, the rest of the panel. Thank you for watching. Make sure you go over and check out What No Better. Kate, and of course, all Leeds TV as well. Kate, have you, are you alive in the morning? Or are you working? Oh, no, not tomorrow. No, not tomorrow. Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. I'll be doing I'll be doing a watch along tomorrow night. Oh, yes, you will. You will. Uh, so make sure you don't watch Kate and watch me. <laughs> but yeah, if you, if you can't be asked, go, go on over and watch her. <laughs> Dro- drop in every now and again. Um, <laughs> Luke, yeah, uh, and likewise. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can do about 3,000 views on my video. (laughs) Don't Uh, don't be checking them. Uh, Luke, oh, no, better. (laughs) Yeah, usually on a Tuesday night, obviously, we'll be delaying that, postponing it till Wednesday night, I should imagine, uh, for the main pod, because simply we'll be be watching the game or at the game or whatever. So, yeah, Yeah. nothing on tomorrow, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, we'll see some of you Wednesday, I suppose. 100% 100% you will do. Uh, Chris, what's going on at Ollie's TV? Do you know? Or you've been away, aren't you working, mate? So. Yeah, well, I'm going to do a watch along tomorrow night. Uh, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> 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 fucking everybody's doing them now. <laughs> I'll be, uh, no, I'll just be doing the usual uh, post match rant or celebration or bit in the middle, which I was against Blackburn. I was very somber after Blackburn, very level headed. I shot myself afterwards, to be fair. I was like, <laughs> it didn't like me. Clearly, age is catching up. <laughs> but yeah, just the post match for me, and the I'm sure Jack and Tash will be back on. I know Tash has been really busy with work and stuff, but I'm sure they'll be back on as well. And the uh, All These TV podcast, which is now on all your favorite streaming services, not been on there yet. I will make my debut at some point. Okay, okay, there you go. Then get it in your uh podcast provider, earphones, whatever. Yeah, um, right, okay. Well, I think we'll leave it there. Thanks as always for watching. I'll be back tomorrow with a little pre-record preview and then the watch along. We'll start early, I think, because there's some games kicking off at 7.45. Mm. Uh, I think so I'm going to start that. earlier. <laughs> <laughs> People have tried it. Start at the same time as mate, after mate. It is what it is. You just can't think. You just can't I do. get it. I stay in my own lane, Pat. I stay in my own right, lane. Man. I wish I know it was what's good, good for me. I wish you were <laughs> <laughs> Stick to what you're good at. You're not good at doing this. <laughs> Get that there's a chance. Uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> it is what it is. Stick, leave it to me. <laughs> I'm joking. Right. I'm going to see you in a bit. Thanks as always for watching, folks. Bye. <laughs>